Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer here and today I want to talk about location targeting. So I get these questions all the time and I was actually talking to a new operator, well relatively new operator the other day. He was wanting uh, to sign up, start getting new clients and he said that he was in Stanford in Connecticut and he said he'd ran Google Ads before but the problem is not only did he get a lot of bogus leads, but he really only wanted jobs that were people, um, he owned sedans and SUVs, so it wasn't like a stretch limo or party bus operator. What he wanted was just rides that were going from like the New York airports, you know, uh, Newark, uh, JFK, LaGuardia, Teterboro, um, to Connecticut. And you know Stanford, all of those uh, towns um, or cities on the uh, eastern um, kind of coast there in Connecticut. And so he said when he was running Google Ads, the issue he was running into is when he would target like JFK or LaGuardia, he'd get a lot of people that were going from JFK to Manhattan or LaGuardia to Manhattan. And he said, look, I'm in Stanford. It doesn't make sense for me to drive all the way to JFK just to go to Manhattan. So um, this is an interesting problem. And there's really two things that I do to solve this issue. Now, just to kind of uh, educate you guys, if you're not familiar with this, when you go into uh, uh, your Google Ads campaign and you go into settings, location options, I believe it might be under advanced options. Um, you'll see there are three different options you can select. And so if you're like this operator and maybe you're, let's say in Connecticut and you don't want to be driving an hour and a half to go do a ride that takes you 20, 30 minutes. What you want is people going from that location to you or from your location to, you know, uh, those airports, wherever that may be. Um, this is just a great example. So <clears throat> you actually want to use two different campaigns. So the first campaign, what you're going to do is you are going to um, use this setting. And so in this campaign, we're going to use keywords to target anyone searching, let's say, JFK to Stanford Car Service. So what would our keyword look like? We would do JFK, um, and I don't even think you have to put two. You can really just put JFK, Stanford, car, service. All right, so now that's the full keyword. Now, keep in mind, again, we need to use this setting for this campaign. And so all of the keywords that you're going to be using in this campaign will be like JFK to Stanford, LGA to Stanford, um, you know, LaGuardia to Stanford. It could also be any other town in Connecticut. Um, you might not want to go to the, the towns to the south because maybe that's not a far enough run for you, but there's tons of, you know, cities on the coast there that you can add here and then also replace JFK with LaGuardia or whatever it might be. And the other types I would do is instead of JFK to Stanford uh, car service, we just do JFK to Stanford and then just limo. We don't even need to put limo service or limo rental, um, nothing like that. Just um, the airport code or airport name, the name of the city, and then either limo or car service, or you could even try transfer. Um, transportation might be a little too general. So that's one type. Now the other type is, um, and this would be another campaign, and you would select this option. And for this campaign, your, key your keywords would just look like this. Or JFK limo, or LGA car service, or LGA limo. And here's why. So again, with this option, what you're telling Google is only show my ads 
to people in this, you know, you might be targeting a radius, you might be targeting a city, but only show my ads to that small number of people, you know, in that radius um, that search this thing here. Okay. So obviously with this campaign, you're not going to be targeting anyone that's flying maybe from London uh, into JFK to go to Connecticut, right? That's what this campaign's for. So this campaign, we're pretty much targeting everyone all over the world, but how we target them is with keywords. So with this campaign, we need to target them with keywords. With this one, obviously we're using a keyword as well, uh, but we don't need to say JFK uh, to Stanford or Stanford to JFK car service because what you're assuming is anyone, let's say within Stanford, and, and we use this setting, let's say anyone that's going to search this thing in that area, the assumption is they live in Stanford, right? And they're searching for a car service to JFK. So you need two types of campaigns. And you don't want to use keywords like this with this location targeting. Because that's when you're going to get people going from JFK to Manhattan or, or who knows, JFK to Long Island. And depending on where you're at, um, you might not want to do those rides. They're not profitable. So that's how you solve this issue. You need two different types of campaigns. Now, if you just do this, that's fine. You're going to get a lot of local clients, which is good. And maybe that's all you have the budget for. But you might only be able to spend so much money with this one because think about it. With this, we are targeting the whole world, right? And we're targeting with the keyword. With this, we're targeting, of course, with the keyword as well, but it's telling Google only people in this location only show my ad to those people in that location. So anyways, guys, and, and by the way, for number three, I rarely ever use um, that option, uh, so I really can't speak to it. Uh, but for those of you out there that do, you know, uh, airport transfers, and you live a long ways from uh, kind of the hub of where you go to, you need to be using two separate campaigns. Super important. And if you do stretch limos and party buses, I typically um, do this one right here uh, for those types of companies, because think about it, unless you're in a vacation or uh, yeah, a vacation lo location, um, or a destination location, like for instance, Nashville, bachelor, bachelorette parties, weddings, um, then you might want everyone all over the world to see your ads. Uh, but generally speaking, with stretch limos and party buses, most of your customers will come from, um, you know, maybe 50, 75 miles around, um, you know, where your place of business is. And that's why I typically use presence with those clients. Now, if they aren't hitting, not getting enough leads, then I will sometimes try this one. But remember with this, we're only targeting, you know, that, that area that you, um, that you highlight to Google, you know, might be a radius, might be a city. Um, so those are the only people that'll see the ads. And with this one, everyone all over the world will see your ads, which that can work. Now, if you do sedans, SUVs, that sort of thing, you almost always want to use presence or interest because, well, think about it. There's people flying in from all over the world who are looking for a car service. Maybe they're going from LAX to Malibu and, uh, you know, they're, they're from London. Um, you want those people to be able to see your ads. Um, that's why just using presence for sedan and SUV operators you can still get clients from it. And, and many times they're, they're great clients because that means there's a very good chance they live locally, right? They might be on a trip and, you know, so they might not be local, but most of the people that you get using this setting are going to be local people. And what does that mean? Higher chance for repeat business if you knock their socks off with your service. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video.
Um, if you found it valuable, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.